e-cigarettes are getting a whole new generation hooked, according to doctors who say teenagers don't understand the danger of addiction. Youth will say, it's no big deal I'm smoking now, um, I can quit tomorrow. No, you can't. Concerns about skyrocketing teen juuling, as it's called, packed with highly addictive nicotine, prompted experts at the Food and Drug Administration to explore ways of helping addicted teens. Nicotine is physical and it causes a craving, a physical craving, but there's all these emotional things going on in the teenage mind that you have to deal with or you're not, you're not going to be able to solve the problem. One solution, get to teens through their phones. The anti-smoking nonprofit Truth Initiative just announced a texting program designed to help kids quit vaping. So you're going to text the word quit. The American Lung Association takes it a step further, urging the FDA to ban flavors like mango that are attractive to kids. One of the easiest things they can do is to prohibit those flavors um, in the sale of flavored products. The head of the FDA threatened an e-cigarette ban unless manufacturers can come up with a way to keep them out of teen hands. Really could be game over for some of these products. E-cigarette use was up by 78 percent in high schools last year alone. Nicotine replacement products like the patch or gum can be effective for adults but are not approved for kids. In Washington, I'm Erica Edwards, NBC News.